and welcome to my video on just drawing people. I always find that I'm just trying to discover new ways of doing things and maybe it's just because I see things. Um, I don't see dead people, but I see things where how can I break this down simpler for myself as I'm trying to work on it and more so with people when I'm drawing people. I try to break that down even more besides just looking at the gesture, besides thinking about the forms, besides thinking about maybe the feeling so much. Um, there's so many different things that I'm just trying to just to wonder, how can I get more life in my poses? So one way that I discovered while I was drawing was starting to break down my characters into basic shapes, things that I've always done as a designer anyway. So one of those things is maybe I might see someone standing and I just want to get some sort of pose, but this is more about like this unconscious feeling. So now I have this number one shape that I've just started to build. And what I'm trying to avoid is making everything so even. So things that we tend to do when we're drawing people is we will draw them and we're drawing our, our shapes through here and everything seems to be going just in the same you know, direction and we got that person's hand there. And again, that could serve a, a purpose um, for sure if we're just trying to uh, create that person with that look. But then again, it becomes pretty straightforward and everything can just be no, there's not too many angles. Everything's kind of going in the same way. So what I discover when I'm drawing is, well, what if I break this up into different parts? What if I just claim this to be the chest? Now, I don't know if the chest is looking forward at us if if I got my you know collar through here I don't know if I'm gonna have my collar when I'm drawing my collar is gonna be over here but look at the where I can go with this I can make this person front view or front three quarter within a matter of seconds all right so let me just say that on this guy I'm going to just make it all of a sudden decide just to hey let's just turn it this way let's just turn this guy's collar all right, just really quick. Again, what, what you're trying to always do in drawing anyway is just trying to find the feeling. Don't worry about, you know, making these real decisive decisions. This is where people go wrong when they're just trying to clean everything up just straight away or just sort of make it really tight. Things just can start to stiffen up um, and you can always come back after that. So now that I've done that, well, okay, well, now I'm claiming almost that I got my front you know, of my shirt going this way. You know, I got this guy's uh, collar going back there, okay? But maybe, what if all of a sudden, I turn these legs, and now I can change these legs in any direction. What if all of a sudden I do something like this? You know, just arbitrarily. Uh, now, I'm almost showing like there's some sort of twist going on. Automatically, I've, I've, I've sort of shown that twist within the body, and I got a foot there, and I got a foot back there. Well, that's starting to add some more visual uh, interest, okay? So that becomes like the second shape and the third shape. And then what about the arm? What if all of a sudden, well, the body's turning there. Technically, I know the arm's got to be around here somewhere. Um, so now, let's just throw that arm in there. Okay, I'll just throw that hand up. Okay, all of a sudden, this guy's getting just a little bit more life. Let me just put in maybe another hand over here. Maybe is you know, holding a ticket or something. I don't know. You know, it could be anything, a candy bar, you name it. All right, so now we got, that's the number one shape. This is number two, number three, number four, and number five shape in my drawing. And now what happens if, you know, the head can go so many 50 billion different ways. Do I want to turn the head and have it going this way? Nope, I decide I don't want to do that. What if I want to turn the head, you know, and just kind of go this way? All right. Look how much is, you know, personality is already just being added into the character as opposed to automatically just saying, well, the body is going this way. So I have to keep the head going this way, too. Is that just going to make things boring? That's just going to make everything just feel like it's going in the same direction. Um, and I think we don't want to do that. We, we want to just start creating just a little bit more variety in that. So what if all of a sudden I say I'm going to tilt his head? And I go with something like this, you know, let's kind of give this guy a hat or something here. And we're going to just show just a little bit more of a, a tilt through there, okay? What if we got this guy's nose here and this guy's looking down at something over there? i got to get those ears raised up again. Just, I just kind of want to keep very loose with this. You know, again, I'm more, I'm more concerned just about trying to find the feeling and maybe I'm going to get this guy's face through there. Now, all of a sudden, I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking, well, 
dang, that's kind of, you know, now that character just has the, this, feels like just a feeling, uh, you know, he's like, feels like he's moving just a little bit more. And I think that's the idea just to really think about when you're drawing. And again, what it does is just avoid from making everything just feel like it's just one way and going in the exact same direction through there, which eventually can just, again, just sort of stiffen up your drawing. So I encourage you just to, just to try it. I mean, what if I get just a little bit of a skinnier guy? I'm gonna start off with that shape. Now we have no idea, you don't know what's happening with that shape, but now that was my one big mass. Now let's do something else here. Let's all of a sudden, let's turn his head. Maybe surprise you. Maybe you thought I was gonna go in a whole different uh, other direction uh, with this. Now it's almost like a back three quarter view, but wait, there's more. What if I decide I just wanna twist his body off to the side through there? Okay, so now all of a sudden now we get just a nice little real sort of twist and energy in that pose. And what if all of a sudden, hey, I get this other shape. We don't know what shape that's going to be going yet. But what if I decide, well, let's just kind of turn it up this way. So now he's just got like a, a real sort of uh, twist thing happening. Oops, someone's trying to call me, my wife. All right, so then now we kind of got this going on and then I can build upon that all right so now boom I got this idea this fun drawing that's just created just based on those simple shapes um, but that's it that's my little tutorial for the day um, there's gonna be a lot more of this stuff I'm, I'm creating the most fascinating what I feel I this book that I've been working on for the last five years of all my techniques and, and tips just like this. And it's coming out in a book form and I'm excited. It's going to be coming out through kicks. I'm doing a Kickstarter so that I can release this book sooner than later um, with your guys' support. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be coming in September. Um, and I really look forward to sharing with you my, my process on just designing and observing and just drawing just in general because that's the most important thing that I find is really teaching yourself how to observe and how to look for different ways so that I'm not my goal is in this book is not to teach you my style and way of drawing my way I think it's just a way of just drawing a way of observing a way of making you a stronger designer altogether so uh, stay tuned for that thanks for watching and I'll um, talk to you guys another time take care <laughs>